Hey guys, in this video I want to introduce how to make the white ink background as gradient white ink print. So we have a design here. You can see we have the uh, on the lighters, the dream lighters, we have different color darkness, right? For example, in the right area, we have very dark color darkness. And in the purple and white area is very light. Also on the the main image, the black black area is very dark, and we have white smoke is very light area. So this, uh, when we print, uh, for example, we import this image to the RIP software, we can see the no matter what the uh, the color it is. It will print like the full white. That first thing, it will cost um, a lot more white ink when we print. And the second thing, if we print the image on the dark color shirts, like a black color shirt, we do not need that too high the white ink print because we can use the background black uh, color on the shirt so now we to see how to open it uh, how to uh, process this image the first thing we have this the DTF action especially for the PS so we open it this image and choose this DTF gradient white and we click it it will process this image automatically but there are some basic information we need to check uh, check so if I want to print it 30 centimeter and at 300 resolution it should be enough for print. Okay, in this area, we need to see on the image that we are using the white to dark gradient. This is a normal choice for uh, waiter. They don't have a lot of white, uh, a lot of black. It will print more white in. The result. So we okay. We click okay, and then this image. We will see on the image. It will be, uh, just like uh, you can see on the image that dark area. It will print more white ink, and the white area, which on the image you can compare, on the image where is the white. It will have the black, see, which means we have the the black area on this processed area. It will print more white ink, and on the white area, it will not print the uh the white ink. So that's the basic. Now we can choose. Here, the, the performance we normally to choose the normal and like liner light and options, different options. We normal for about the different pictures, there will have different choice. This design is not really normal, but uh, we can choose one is special okay to use for this one this light light is better to use because you can see the without on the image so we choose this one that means on the more dark area it will print more white ink on the white area it will not print the white ink we click okay and we go to the channel you will see here 
this is what we got. This is a spot channel. This spot channel is spot white color, which is the white wheel will print on the dark area. Okay, so now we delete it and we do again. This time we will see another function. I will not modify here, you just keep it here. Last time we are using the white to dark. That makes the black carrier will not print white ink at all. But we want it at least to print less. But uh, we do not want we not want it to print nothing. So we can choose a gray, gray to dark uh, to black. Okay, we click. The, okay, you see now the difference. We have we can see that uh, even on this area we'll have the white ink print that will make the image everywhere can print white ink, but they are using different darkness for the white ink, a different white intensity density for the white ink. Okay, click OK. Here are the same. We can also just which one the best. Still, we want to use this. Uh, this is basically big, based on your image. Some Im most image we are using the normal liner liner light and lighten. So this with this one, um, obviously the lighten faction is much better choice for uh, read that. Click OK. Now we can see this. Is the spot channel we have made for the white ink. Okay, so now we have been printed with the different settings. Two images we have already did. So I want to open it to see the difference now. Okay, so in this picture. You can see that this area, these two designs, you can see here, this is with the, when we're talking about the gradient white, we have the, the, the range there, we can choose, you use white to black, or use the gray to black. You can see the difference here. The difference is when we use gray to black, they're all everywhere will print white ink. Everywhere will print white ink. But only if we use white to black or the pure black position will not print white. That's the difference area. See? This, the white in uh, the white ink print in the uh, black color area, they will also have a minimum quantity of the white ink print. So this is gray to black setting. This. It is white to black setting. This is for the gradient setting, for the action setting. So this is very easier to understand now. There are difference. More area you can see the details is different. In the gray to black, it will give more white ink, even for the black area. Black ink area, more color, dark, dark color area. You can see also this area. This is a gradient print. Okay, so another. Okay, this is. And when we see from the front, they are mostly like this, very same. Let me rotate it. 
to have the same direction. You can see from the uh, the front, they are mostly very similar, but only to say when the the white ink quantity for the transparent this for the black ink area is printed a little more because we are using gray to black. Okay, let's to see the other print. This is the one we made in the video. You can see the white uh, the white ink printed is different the uh, gradient. You can see the lighters here. Here is sincerely uh, obviously have lights white ink print. Here is same lights white ink print. And in the dark color area, but uh, this black color area is print lights white ink. But uh, on the white white area is still printed very good. Have the enough white ink density that is gradient for the white ink basement uh the base we see from the front you can see very clear black ink and dark ink area will print lights white ink space and the the light area light color area will print more white ink at the base so this will be easier for us to see okay you can see the for example the m you can see here with different but this design we were using the gray to black for the range. So even on the pure black ink image area, it will print less white base than the pure white area. You see this pure white, it will print pure white. Black areas print less white ink. This way it will save our white ink costing and will be better when you press a uh, heating press this film the the design to black uh to white shirt black shirt the white shirts it will be have better effect too thank you